Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the lecture of the classical mechanics in this lecture we will discuss problem number 6 of the classical mechanics which is uh, from uh, goldstein books question says a particle moves in the xy plane uh, under the constraint that its velocity vector is always uh, directed toward a point on the x axis means its velocity vector is always directed uh, toward the x-axis uh, whose abscissa uh, is uh, some given function of time f of t show that uh, for f of t differentiable but otherwise arbitrary the, the constraint is non holonom x means uh, we have to prove that the, our constraint is uh, non holonom x uh, for the particle which is moving uh, in xy plane uh, whose velocity vector is always directed toward the x-axis ok in step 1 we show that uh, knowing that the particle is always directed toward a point on the x-axis of a magnitude f of t it means uh, this is the velocity of the particle which is a function of f of t toward the point f of t and 0 mean x this is the x abscissa and this is the y because particle moving is along x-axis here yeah, toward x is it means y coordinate will be 0 therefore y coordinate is 0 and uh, y x is f of t because uh, you know that uh, whose abscissa is some given function of f of t and assume the particle is anywhere on the plane x y from an equation of slope we can find the equation of constraint you know that uh, this is the equation uh, this is the coordinate of the particles and this is the <coughs> point toward which the particle is moving this is a given point toward which the particle is moving and this is the uh, point where the part this, this these two points are the coordinate where the particle in are in the current position okay if you have two points then you can find the slope between them so using these two points you can find the slope of a particle that will be equal to dy over dx is equal to 0 minus y over f of t minus x because you have two points x y and f of t and 0 these are the these are the position for the present state and these are the position for the next uh, state where particle is moving so if I differentiate uh, uh, re rearrange this whole equation of uh, we will get f of t minus x multiplied by dy by cross multiplying and similarly uh, my is equal to y dx so if we took uh, on the other side this this will become f of t minus x dy plus y dx is equal to 0 this is the equation of a constraint under which the particle is moving which is the equation of a constraint okay we are this equation which is obviously a non-exact differential equation how it is exact non-differential equation because uh, for exact differential equation if we uh, put uh, this equal to m okay i am just changing the color for this if this is equal to m and this is equal to n uh, so m dy plus n dx should be equal to uh, 0 you know that m is this whole factor is m and this whole factor is n so for the ex uh, this equation to be the exact and uh, partial m over partial x should be equal to partial n divided by partial uh, y so what is m this is the area of m so d over dx should be equal to uh, partial over partial y partial over partial y and y and what is n and this is the value of n so these should be equal but these equations are not equal it means this function is uh, not exact difference this equation is not exact if it is not exact it means f of t is uh, independent on x therefore we cannot find integrating factor for such differential equation and the concentration is non holonomic it means we cannot uh, equation of motion for uh, this <coughs> from this equation and uh, this is uh, inexact differential equation if we cannot this uh, if we cannot put this equation into uh, an equation form exact differential it means this is uh, non-holonomics so this equation 
we there is then show that for f of t differentiable but otherwise arbitrary the constraint is non dynamic it means we cannot uh, put this is not exact differential equation therefore this equation is non dynamic non dynamic constraint are those constraint which cannot be put in the uh, equation form and this is uh, this equation cannot be put in the proper equation form